Hi everybody, this is Dr. Rohan Krishna Kumar, Managing Committee Member, IAG, Gynac Lab Robotic Surgeon from JK Women Hospital, Mumbai. So, in the new series of our video with the Histoscopic Tissue Retrieval System, this is a 63-year-old postmenopausal bleeding lady with postmenopausal bleeding since the past uh, six months. She was diagnosed with a large uh, thickened endometrium on ultrasound so with a very flush cervix on per speculum examination dnc was attempted outside but they couldn't dilate obviously so she was sent for a hysteroscopic biopsy so you can see we are directly entering with the miniature hdrs system vaginoscopically with a zero degree telescope it is zero degrees so as soon as you enter you can see this beautiful endo cervical growth which you all noticed tentacular in appearance vascular you'll notice better in some time what you guys have to note in particular is that see if you dilate in these cases many times you would probably perforate enter into a false passage or even if you go in the right passage you will miss this beautiful pathology because it will be obscured by bleeding so even if you are doing a hysteroscopy do it without dilatation do it vaginoscopically can you see this nice endocervical growth you will completely miss this if you try to dilate or if you do a dnc you will miss it because this is endocervical and not very much extending into the endometrial cavity so you see we have got the hdrs probe in and we start our morselator, sorry, histoscopic tissue retrieval system. I can't say morselator. It's a histoscopic tissue retrieval system, which is sucking the tissue, the blood, as well as cutting the tissue at the same time. Now, this case compared to the previous cases will have some bleeding because I said it's a vascular mass. Now, this bleeding can be ignored because it's not going to bleed torrentially it's probably because of the fluid that the blood is seen this way the only problem with this is in compared to conventional resectoscopy is conventional resectoscopy will also give you some hemostasis whereas in these vascular growths you could see nice tentacular appearance vascular appearance which is very classical that it could be an adenocarcinoma so they bleed a little obscuring the vision so you just have to wait turn on the suction let the fluid clear and then you will have a good clear vision again now you can see the entire growth was removed it was sent for biopsy and it has turned out to be adenocarcinoma moderately differentiated so i'm going to post the video of her, her laparoscopic surgery with a pelvic and paraortic lymphadenectomy as well very soon probably in a couple of days so you can see the entire growth is removed and as i said all you have to do is wait for some time wait for the fluid to clear and then you will start seeing the growth again so when you are unsure where you are just wait let the suction do its job and clear the fluid and you can see a very nice endocervical growth which is being cut off and for all those people who keep thinking oh how can you do hysteroscopy in suspicion of malignancy well it is very safe to do hysteroscopy there are so many published papers of almost since the past 25 years that the amount of cells found in the peritoneal cavity after a regular dnc are the same as that are found after a hysteroscopy so there is nothing that the water is going to push the cells into the peritoneal cavity and upstage the disease it is absolutely wrong and foolish to think so and in fact in postmenopausal lady as women are surviving more people are living longer the challenges are becoming greater because of the stenosed endocervical canal the flushed cervix the absolutely stenosed external loss so as doctors we also should adapt to it adapt to hysteroscopy say no to blind dnc 
which is dangerous and criminal at this age and resort to hysteroscopy for guided biopsies and more systems like the miniature resectoscope or the HTRS in postmenopausal pathologies. So please do follow for more and write in your queries and if any more information needed on the techniques we'll be very happy to guide you all and I'm going to post the surgery of the the laparoscopic surgery of this patient which we subsequently performed that's also almost uh, three months prior so I'm going to post that video she's also recovering well so stay tuned and enjoy Greetings everybody from JK Women Hospital, Dombivli. Please remember to like our page, uh, Facebook and YouTube channel and keep watching for regular updates and educative videos and do not forget to subscribe.